it's Amy from Mastery Stretch. So today I wanted to give you a little uh, some tips on creating healthier knees. So if you have knee issues, I've had knee injuries. I've had dislocated kneecaps and both my knees several times. Um, so I do have some residual stuff that happens with my knees. I feel my knees when it rains <laughs> and uh, they often uh, feel a little achy. But um, otherwise, uh, to create healthier knees, we really need to stop blaming our knees. It's usually not our knees. It's usually coming from our hips or our ankles and feet. So it's really important to make sure you're doing some hip mobility exercises to open up the hips, to create balanced hips from the inner thighs to outer thighs, you know, foam rolling the inner thighs, foam rolling the outer thighs, doing some hip strengthening, some inner thigh strengthening to help those knees because that tension can trickle down into the knees. Um, also, look at your quads, your quads, if your quads are really tight, you need to uh, foam roll those and that should help with that knee tension as well. Um, also look at your ankles, make sure your ankles are able to move, so you're able to you know, go side to side, you're able to point and flex fairly well, doing some um, massage therapy, using the uh, yoga tune-up balls for opening up the feet and the ankles, massaging the feet and the calves and the shins will also help knees. But one exercise that I've recently learned that really helps actually strengthen the muscles around the knees is um, this little exercise. So you can do this um, elevated, but I would recommend if you do have some knee crankiness, start with, it, with just being on the floor. So let's, um, what you're gonna do is you're going to, I'm not sure if you can see my feet here, but you're going to angle your foot out slightly, okay? And start with the, the weaker knee. And actually I'm gonna get rid of this mat because that's gonna make my balance a little off. So we're gonna move that out of the way. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something, but angle the foot slightly out. We're strengthening this muscle right by the knee. So this, this muscle, inside muscle right by the knee. And, and the purpose is to go past your knee. So you're going to take your other foot and you're going to let that knee drop over the foot and then come back up. So you're going to repeat as many times, and, and I hear crunching here, I'm pretty sure I have a torn meniscus. Um, and so this knee does bother me sometimes or some damage to the meniscus. So you wanna repeat this if, if five times, three times, 10 times, 15 times, whatever feels good to you, repeat it as many times, maybe start out small and then build up, but you're gonna feel this muscle working and that's where you really wanna feel it and that's why you have to turn that foot out slightly because that's gonna help strengthen that, the knees. Because when you're, anytime you're walking downstairs and if your knees hurt when you walk downstairs, this is really, really important because in real life, the, the knee goes over the toe. So we need to, the knee to be strong as we do real life things. And so we wanna mimic, and I'll show you on this side, where you can actually see, turn the foot out a little bit, and then we're letting that knee and our weight go over the toe. And we're building strength in that leg to help those knees get a little stronger. So it works on your ankle mobility and also works on strengthening muscles around the knee. So I found that recently and I really like the exercise and I hope that helps you. So if you do, give this video a like, share it with somebody that might need this video to help those knees. And don't forget about my free stretch program at masterystretch.com slash free stretch. You're gonna get a stretch program for your neck, your hips and your lower back. So go check that out, it's completely free. And again, thank you so much. This is Amy from Master Stretch. Please subscribe to my channel.